I'm excited to have with me Canadian pop artist Anna Pack. She's also an accomplished dancer and actor, and she's here today to talk about her multi-talented career and what is next for her. Welcome, Anna. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> yeah, so you're also, or were, a former tra a short track uh, speed skater. I was, yes. Um, I was training, yeah, I was training to go to the Olympics. That was, uh, that was one of my dreams now. You know, unfortunately, I, I didn't, didn't quite make it, but um, I definitely took a lot of the discipline and, and everything that it takes to, to have a dream like that and, and transfer those kinds of things to other avenues and, and other things that, that I want to do with my new career. So, yeah. So did you coach as well? I did a little bit of coaching um, just on, on the side after I had uh, finished my own um, training career. Uh, not very long though, maybe just a couple months of giving some kids tips here and there. That's wonderful. Now, did you start, um, you know, speed skating at, like at a very young age? Like was it seven or? or yeah. I started when I was seven. It was one of those things where my older brother had actually, I think he saw it at the Olympics and he was like, mom, I really want to do this. And so my mom was like, okay, how do we, uh, how do we do this? And so she went out and she found a place to do it. And of course, watching my big brother do something, I want to do it now. So then I started when I was seven. So that's how it kind of all came to be. Oh my goodness. And and you also are a professional dancer. Now, did dance come before short track? Yes, I started um, dancing when I was three. Now, granted, I did learn to skate when I was, I don't know, I want to say around four and a half. So I kind of did both at the same time, but speed skating, like actual speed skating was at seven, so. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you come from an athletic background and, and tap dancing, like what was the inspiration behind that? Um, I was at, again, waiting for my brother to finish the stuff that he was doing and we were in a waiting room and I remember hearing some noise and I would lay under on the floor like this to peek under the door to see what was going on in that room. And then I, um, finally my mom one day was like, you know what, I'm just gonna, let's just put you in there. So that's how that started. <laughs> wow. And what do you love most about tap dancing? Um, it's, you can find different rhythms in everything and and it's not just different rhythms in music it's just different rhythms in life and i walk around i don't just walk like i walk around tap dancing all the time so you, i can hear something and i'll be like oh that sounds good right stuff like that yes because it looks it looks hard <laughs> when i'm looking like when i and i you know i understand that you know american in paris which i love as well that's my and, favorite movie oh it's just incredible how they do it. So when I, you know, when I heard, understand that you do tap dance, I'm like, oh my goodness, like it's harder than it looks. I mean, so it's just, you know, and you do car, uh, choreography behind that too, right? Is Absolutely. That yeah. I'm a, I, I teach choreography as well as teach kids how to dance. And so, yeah. That's wonderful. And, you know, with all that, like being a, a, sh a short track athlete, a dancer, um, an actor as well. So tell me about the acting. Um, I was, I've been on a, a couple of TV shows, a couple of movies being featured, uh, featured dancer as well and featured um, in little clips moments like I was on The Next Step and um, on the Netflix movie Move It as well as Netflix as well, Feel the Beat. So all fun little um, great shows that talk about dance as well as acting, so. Yeah, so you know, you are a professional singer, but is there one that you love most, or dare I ask that, or do they, or do they all help, like transferable skills? I, cu I couldn't pick one. It's, it's one of those things where each one of them brings something different to the table. And when you put them all together, that's the part that I love. Um, my favorite thing to do, I absolutely love performing, right? So if I can perform while singing, add some choreography, add a bit of a, a show aspect to it, you put all that together, that's, that's my passion. That's what I love doing. Yes, and you know, I understand that you are Justin Bieber. I love Justin. Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> and also uh, Paul Abdul too, right? 
Mm-hmm. She- I found out. I found out about Paula Abdul when I was watching American Idol. She was one of the judges, and I was like, "I'm gonna look her up." And then I found out that she tap dances and sang at the same time, like pop singing, tap dancing, puts on amazing shows, has her hand in choreography, so she's you know constantly there and and involved. And so when I saw that, I was like, "That that's what I want." Well, you're multi talented. You are in demand. Like you, <laughs> so much you can do. Is there anything else that I don't know, or we don't know, the the viewers who might be watching this? I <laughs> during <laughs> during quarantine, you know, we had all this time on our hands, and my whole life, I I watch people, you know, solve the Rubik's cube, and I'm like, you know, now that I have time on my hands, and you know, we don't have much to do. I'm going to learn how to do it. And so now I know how. So I maybe that's a little snippet of a um, little information that not many people know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now I, I want to talk about uh, Blast Off. Um, mm-hmm. Congratulations. I love the song. And what was the inspiration behind it? You co-wrote it, right? Is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I have a, a great team uh, that surrounds me and a great team to, to work with and produce the song, write the song. A- absolutely fantastic team. And um, it comes from, so my partner and I, we met over TikTok, right? And so it's kind of our, a bit of our love story that, that goes into the song. And there came a time where just saying, I love you to each other just wasn't enough. And it was like, we needed to find a word that would describe it more and, and, and show more of the passion that was behind just an I love you. And so we mixed together my love of Disney and she loves um, sci-fi. And so we put that together and you know how Buzz Lightyear says to infinity and beyond. And in um, sci-fi, they say something is light years away, right? So everything is bigger and it's exaggerated. So we took light years and beyond which is a mix of two and so instead of saying just i love you we say light years and beyond and that's like our little message so once that came along i was like this could be a good song this could we can turn this into something and so light years and beyond kind of gave way to blast off oh wow when you listen to it like um like it does it evoke emotion all the time or different emotions every time you listen to it and uh, absolutely yeah it just it shows the amount of of love and 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 passion that that we have for each other and the fact that i could actually you know put it down into a song and then have people be able to listen to it and relate to it it's it's one of those things where blast off is is my love story but for somebody else listening to it they can relate to it and they can put into that song what they feel so whether it's a a relationship with a friend or your parents or anything of of the sort because you're listening to it and and you can relate to it it could be your love story as well and that's Mm -hmm. what i love about it because it just brings everybody together it's wonderful and was there a pivotal moment when you said okay how do i write the line like where were you when you said oh i do you keep a journal beside your bed like how 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 did it happen exactly? Yeah, it's one of those. So I, I have a, a a mentor who's you know works with me to to write songs and stuff, and she said, even even if your thoughts are silly and you think that they're not really like you know that it could make a song or anything, she just says just write everything down. Just whatever you have, if you're having some thoughts or whatever, just write it down and then leave it and then come back to it maybe, you know, a week later or something and read it through. And sometimes, even if you felt silly in that moment writing it down, sometimes that idea then can turn into something that you can work with. And so that's been kind of how we're, you know, we're writing songs and just how we, you know, start building things. Yes. And and so this is your third single, right? Um, yes. And then you have This Is You, or This Is, rather. Yeah, yes. This Is. So tell us about that song. That one is, it's, more, it's a reminder to the audience that anything is possible. And if you believe it, and you're true to your heart, and, and you believe in yourself as well, like if you're just you and you go for it, you can achieve whatever your heart desires. So that one is very much, I see it as, I'm going to remind you that you're amazing. And I love that song. Yes. And your music, like how would you describe your music? Um, uplifting and, and positive. I always try to keep it uplifting, positive, and inclusive to everybody listening. Mm-hmm. I want everybody to feel 
what each song is trying to say and be able to relate. Yeah, so we need that. We need positive in our world. And and it's it's like when you're inspiration like you are, it's it's great and the feedback. Like what's the feedback been like from your music? So, so lovely. I have had so much support and people telling me like it's it's brought a lot of positivity to my life and and I, now I believe and and things like that and then other people talking about blast off being like it's a beautiful love story and I can relate to it and just the fact that a lot of people are just being so positive about it and and vibing with me is it's been absolutely great. Yes, and Anna, will there be a video of blast off? We're yes, we are currently working on on a video for blast off as well as uh, another single that's going to come out relatively soon and we also oh. want to finish up the album so we gotta we're working on a couple more songs so that the album could be um, released as well yes and tell us about down in my whip is that yeah absolutely down in my whip is it was one of those uh empowering moments where you know you're you got your car you're doing what you're gonna do and you have the the freedom to just go out and and feel like you can do whatever you want and and if you want to go for a certain person go for a certain person if you want to go for a job or if you want to whatever it is it's the the feeling of being in control and and being empowered yes and you know for those watching our interview what would you say to someone who want to follow in your footsteps because you are you're so multi-talented you're in demand and what advice would you give thank you that's that's very sweet of you um i would always always is always find the positive in every situation always find the beautiful in in every situation and it's one of those things where if you're set on this and this is your goal then do it that just do it <laughs> yes wonderful now can you tell us about your workout do you still do short track like for fun or how do you <laughs> Um, I can tell you that I don't work out as much as I used to, for sure. Um, but I do definitely keep up with um, my cardio and my singing as well. So vocal workouts is is mm -hmm. something that I do, as well as maintaining um, a balance between the two. Because like I said, I want to be able to do shows and perform while doing both. So both of those are going to take um, stamina and you have to keep your body working properly as well as not just vocal exercises, but taking care of your voice as well. Um, so I definitely keep on top of, of all of those things. Yes. I mean, I saw your video and you're so energized, like doing the moves and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, like you have to, as you said, you know, always keep up your stamina. What about um, nutrition? Like, um, how do you you know, fuel your body. I mean, hydration and so forth. For sure. Yeah. Drinking water was definitely um, one of them. My vocal coach was actually saying you need to keep constantly drinking water, which I wasn't. So whatever you get from this interview, drink water is the <laughs> message. Um, but yeah, I definitely found myself having to drink a lot more water to, to keep everything nice and um, hydrated. And uh, this one is just me, a personal one. I stay away from sugar. Um, so I eat clean, um, a, a clean diet where I just stay away from sugar and things like bread or pasta or anything that would have refined sugar. Sorry, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> but I do eat um, fruits and vegetables and, and things like that that have natural sugar that I do for sure eat that. That's wonderful. And what is next for you? Are you going to be performing in concert or virtually or? We, yes, we're definitely, now that Ontario is opening back up again slowly, we are definitely looking into um, performances as well as we were going to release the new single relatively soon, um, as well as we want to finish the, the album too. So we're also working on a couple more songs that we're going to add to to the album. Yes. And this is Anna Pack, right? It's going to be titled? Right. Yep. <laughs> That's great. Um, what about a clothing line? We have, yes, we've got some, I'm even wearing it right now. We've got a bit of uh, merch. So the fun thing about my hoodies is that whatever color you want, you can design it. So if you, let's say if you want a black hoodie 
and yellow letters. Well, we can do that. Or even if you want a yellow hoodie and I don't know, blue letters, we could do that. So whatever your heart desires, we will, we will make it. So it's kind of fun when you can go in and like decide the colors that you want and mix and match them. So it's pretty cool. Wow. Is there anything else that you don't do? <laughs> you know, so, I mean, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, I just, I want to, I'm very thankful for not only my fans and the people who listen to the music, which have been very lovely and very supportive and, and always being there for me, but I also have a great team uh, behind me. And, and I want to say thanks to my team as well, because they are working so hard behind the scenes that you got to, they're, they're amazing. So just thank you all around. And thank you to you for having me for sure. Welcome. I'd like you to come back, you know, after your comes out. And um, I'm just excited for you. And if people want to 